And here is your restart sponsored by Credit One Bank. We're in overtime. Green flag. Johnson jumps out. And there goes Kerr, uh, Kyle. Kyle looking, looking. He's looking. Where's he going to go? Because they'll tell you at 18, car Kyle Busch is a whiz on restarts. Johnson holds the bottom. Leaves the top side open. Tell Comes you, up to cover the spot. Who didn't get a good restart? Is that Kevin Harvick? He spun the tires when he went to third gear. Crash back straight away. This will be the race. The race is over. Here they come. Around to the line, looking for the flag. Four cars involved in the back. Johnson hey, hey. takes the white flag. Dale Jr., Kyle Busch, caution is out. It's over in Atlanta. Wow. Per NASCAR's overtime rules, once Jimmy Johnson passed the overtime line on the backstretch, that was the official restart of overtime. The next flag would end the race. They did come to the line for the white flag under green. Caution out. David Reagan, Eric Almirola, and others involved. And Kevin Harvey's got to be sick. Yeah, he spun the tires. Um, he got up to speed pretty good in the in second gear, but then he, when he went to go to third, you could see he spun the tires a little bit, or late in second gear. Then he got hit from behind by Mark Church Jr. That even uh, took less. Um, it made, made him spin the tires even more. And then uh, Carl Edwards came in there and took them all three wide. See what happened Deep in here. the field on the back straightaway. Cars go spinning, including David Reagan, who ended up against the outside wall. That's Almirola smoking. On the left is Reagan. There's at least four cars involved. 